Today, we're going to look at how to use a Bunsen burner. This here is a Bunsen burner. It's a basic tube that's hooked up to the gas port here. Uh, there are some small adjustments you can make here to adjust the size and height of your flame, as well as the amount of heat it produces. Uh, first thing you always do is turn on the gas here at the source. Listen for the gas to come out and then light it with a striker. It might take a few tries if it fails to light. Turn off the gas, let some of the gas air out because you don't want to have a large build up here, and then try again. <clears throat> Good Bunsen burner flame has the two blue colors, an inner blue cone that's lighter in color and the outer blue cone that's sometimes a little purplish in color. Most Bunsen burners have at least the ability to turn here so that you can adjust the amount of oxygen going to the flame by changing the gap down here. Some also have a valve for controlling the gas, although technically they go by a different name and go like that. If your Bunsen burner goes out, relight it immediately or turn off the gas and relight it as you normally would. It's best to use a striker and not a lighter, a striker or a match, I should say, and not a lighter to light the Bunsen burner just because it's that many less flammable objects or uh, fuel sources around it when it does light up so this happen. If the Bunsen burner roars, do your best to adjust the volume of it. Most flames should be fairly quiet, but there will probably always be a little flicker of flame. You can also adjust the gas back at the gas port itself. You'll be doing a lab shortly then to see which part of the flame is actually hottest and the best to heat with and uh, get you used to using and lighting a Bunsen burner. Of course, everyone always asks what happens if the fire is uncontrolled and if it does manage to light down here or anywhere in the tube, of course, shut off the gas if you can get to it. Otherwise, go to the emergency shut off valve and shut it off there. Uh, and then, of course, inform your instructor.